Alright guys, it is a cloudy, gloomy, sticky day here in the end times. <clears throat> here in this undisclosed swamp, I am back in my secret garden here on Monday afternoon, March 29th, <coughs> 2021. And I see the irises are in bloom and the secret garden isn't that gorgeous. And Lord, these go on and on. It's uh, a blue flag day on March 29th. Here, I think the blue flag irises are pretty much at their prime in my secret garden. And uh, I can tell I got plenty more of these to dig up and move. The Crazy Crane Campground next year. Uh, but anyway, I see the that I uh, thought I'd left some mosquito repellent here, but I guess I haven't. So this is going to be a short visit to the secret garden between the mosquitoes, the yellow flies, this damn caterpillar invasion. Some rumor about an insect apocalypse. Uh, I see no evidence of an insect apocalypse. Here, I will be heading back to New York, baby. Three weeks from today. Three weeks from today. So if anybody is on any sort of trajectory, kind of draw a line from Tampa, Florida to Ithaca, New York. And I will be probably coming up I-75 through Atlanta, <coughs> onward through Kentucky, up that direction. So let me know if you want to meet up along the way somewhere in about three weeks. And then come visit me at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Right now the bugs are whining around my ears. So I just... Uh, I, I, you know, guys, I can't believe how close I came to actually giving YouTube, the YouTube bots, a, a, a nod. I was actually thinking of doing a video called something like, YouTube bots actually do something right. And what I'm referring to as some of my fellow YouTube creators might have realized when was it that was i think it was just last week they came out with this new feature called checks that what they youtube is doing now automatically is checking your video before it gets published trying to keep you from getting various strikes you know uh, content and copyright strikes and whatnot. So I could not believe it uh, that the YouTube bots were actually deciding whether your video had copyrighted information. And I could get on a whole rant about this whole copyright thing. Book Hermit was just talking about this on Sandy's channel last night in the comments. That I really don't get it what these copyright uh, Nazis are think they're accomplishing uh, you know how many hundreds of videos would I probably have have had by now you know uh, recommending all of these you know songs and videos and documentaries and everything but every time you try to give uh, somebody a free plug you know give them some free advertising which they should be absolutely thrilled to get what do they do they rip down your video on a goddamn copyright strike i mean what the fuck is is in it uh for these people so anyway what i did was i wanted to put this to the test anyway so i had a perfect opportunity i did a rant of on Collapse Chronicles today about recommending this excellent new documentary over there on Netflix 
called Sea Spiracy. Sea Spiracy, so I decided, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is not even run the audio. All I did was use the video from Sea Spiracy uh, as a background to my audio. Alright, so there was not one word uh, available to the YouTube or the Netflix bots, as the case may be. So first I did that, then I did a test run. So I actually made a video, you know, with this, uh, with the video running in the background, uh, and, you know, about a two-minute video, and I, and so, you know, it went through the checks. It checked my video for copyright strikes and said no copyright issues found. You know, basically you're free to publish your video and uh, with no copyright strikes. So I didn't publish the video because it was a test video, but I, but I saved it to private. You know, which is about as close as you can get to publishing it. So. I went ahead to the next step after they told me I'd have no, and, and it saved it to private, and I got no copyright strikes, and that was hours ago, and it's still sitting there over in my private files. Uh, so everything was fine. So with all of that information, I went and did my uh, Collapse Chronicles rant, and, you know, plugging this video, trying to bring more viewers to Seaspiracy. Uh, and again, I ran no audio. It was simply the video as a background to my, uh, you know, to my own audio rant. And again, I ran it through the copyright check. And the YouTube bots did their little copyright check, determined no copyright issues were found in my video, and they, you know, gave me the go-ahead to publish the video that there were no copyright issues anywhere in that video. I published the video, and five minutes later, uh, I don't know, would you call it Netflix or YouTube, but Netflix made a copyright strike uh, on the video, uh, you know, claiming I was stealing copyrighted uh, video from them, and YouTube yanked down the video. So there you go. You see how well this new system, I should have known that if the YouTube bots were trying to do something right, they would, uh, they would fail. So I, I just give up. I, I, I fucking give up, you know, trying to give, trying to plug anybody's work. You know, this is why I make all of my videos, you know, called Creative Commons, that anybody on the planet who wants to use either my uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe or Collapse Chronicles videos should feel free. You see the bumblebee? You see that bumblebee on the, the irises? The bumblebee population looks pretty sweet out here in the end times. We have bumblebees joining the mosquitoes and all the rest of them. Like that bumblebee bumbling through life. Anyway, it's these damn, these yellow flies are the newest scourge chasing me out of here. And I, and these goddamn caterpillars, I just did a video about how these caterpillars don't sting you. And then uh, I got the, I got the shit stung out of me by one of these stingless caterpillars. Apparently the thing with the caterpillars is they can crawl all over you. What it is is that these tussock moth caterpillars have this line of black hairs 
uh, running along their back and you have to touch the caterpillar from above I guess like a predator would do uh, so as long as that line of black hairs is missing you uh, you're totally fine but uh, good lord if you touch the back of a tussock moth caterpillar you will wish for the insect apocalypse but anyways what do you think little dog don't think we're going to be here long I think there is no insect apocalypse here and it looks like rain in the end times I got to get back and start packing up maybe I will see you somewhere along the way on my way back to New York baby let me know if you want to get paid a visit listen to the bumblebees Bye, guys.